Um, can we squeeze in? Yes. Squeeze in where the talent is. We brought you guys something, by the way. So here's the thing. It's going to be very underwhelming, so don't get too excited. And I also don't know if you realize that this happened. <laughs> no, there's no way they know that happened. I don't think so. But we're not only are we on B96.com and on Facebook, you're also on Spanky's Corner, a podcast, which is our podcast that we do. So you guys were on it when we are at Lollapalooza. You're on it now again. And for the very first time ever, we have a two-timer on the podcast. And we brought you this underwhelming handwritten certificate. Yay! Yeah. Welcome to the Two Timers Club. It consists of exactly you guys. Now, if you notice, we taped over a picture of our boss with common underneath that. But just, <laughs> just know. <laughs> anyway, welcome. We'll get you some mics. Can we have a chat? Yes. Is that cool? Yeah. Well, get back to your mics and whatever else. Um, last time we saw you guys was Lala. What have you been up to? Um, we went to Japan. How was Japan? It was great. We went there for two weeks. And uh, we just kind of been running around doing... Um, a bunch more festivals, and now we're on tour, so, yeah. Yeah, we came out with a, a remix of Trampoline with Zane. Mm. I love that. Oh, oh thanks. thanks. It's really good. How did you guys connect? We were in Japan, and we were just brainstorming, you know, uh, who we wanted to feature on the song, and we all love Zane, and we just reached out to his, his team, and then a week later, his acapella vocals just showed up in our inbox, and we were just like, oh, my God. That easy? Yeah, it was, yeah. It was super yeah, easy. Great. Max and I pulled All you got to do to get a song with Zane is do that, huh? Yeah, there yeah. you go. Wow. Yeah, well, it's amazing. I was telling him, I was like, he sounds almost like a different Zane on there. Like, he sounds like you can tell how much his, like, vocals have matured, and I'm like, oh, it's just so good. Oh, yeah, wow. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, it was, it was really fun. When we got him, we were, Max and I pulled an all-nighter pretty much because we wanted to get the song done, and uh, it was really exciting for us. Yeah, it's fun. Is he going to do any road stuff with you guys? Is he going to pop in anywhere? Or is that He'll be still at the show tonight in Chicago. No, Wait, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, sorry. Uh, hopefully. That's, that's the game plan. Hopefully we, we have an opportunity to perform with them. That'd be great. We're trying to go to uh, Europe for a tour, hopefully, in the fall. Or not in the fall, in the spring. So if that's the case, hopefully we can link up. That'd be awesome. So when you guys were over in Japan, give me like the, the best part about Japan in general. Not necessarily performing, just the best thing about Japan. Um, I would say food mm -hmm. and the scenery was really beautiful. And the sake. And the sake. Sake, sake. for sure. <laughs> I think you nailed it. I think yeah. uh, we learned some, some fun words. Sugoi oishi. What's that? It means very delicious. So we, we were just running around saying sugoi oishi everywhere. So. That's a good one. It's a good one to know. Outside of Kenichiwa and Arigato, that's all I know. Okay. Arigato. Yeah, yeah, that's really yeah. Koizai Mas. Yeah. Uh, so how do the crowds in Japan compare to like the ones here when you guys are performing? Did you guys do festivals over there? Yeah, so we did two festivals. I'm double fisting here. A here, I take one of those <laughs> this, 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 It doesn't work. It doesn't work. Oh, it doesn't um, work? Yeah. I'm just grabbing mics. A sorry. A couple <laughs> festivals, and uh, it was amazing. Really, really cool. The, the Japanese crowds are so polite and quiet and very attentive, and um, so that was really cool to see. But yeah, yeah, we were warned before we performed there that they're super polite. Like they, you could hear a pin drop, and it was actually probably the biggest crowd we ever played for. There were like ten thousand people there, Whoa. and uh, you could hear a pin drop like after the song. They like make sure you were you were done for like five seconds, and then they would all like erupt in applause together. Then they would like go silent again. It was. You know, it's funny, on Friday we had Why Don't We Come Through Here, and their whole fan base is nothing but screaming girls, right? Yeah. And they said the same thing about Japan, because they were just over there, and they said the exact same thing, like, even the crazy screaming girls silenced during yeah, the silence. whole performance. Yeah. It's awesome. Uh, we saw something about bidets. Yeah. <sighs> Bidet life is real. Did it change your life? The toilet, the toilet, I mean, it was a... So every toilet, I mean, even in public, was heated. It had, like, music. You could... Like put music on and like wa waterfall sounds and so it was amazing and then bidet it was a whole uh, whole different vibe yeah like See, Bluetooth your phone to it with music <laughs> or did it give you options no gi give they gave you options that would be sick to Bluetooth um, but yeah they gave you options that's a great idea for radio.com where are the radio.com people in here we need to figure that out. we need Bluetooth enabled bidets that have radio.com on it <laughs> and you can say 
<laughs> toilet, please play shade, trampoline. Yes, hey. yes, that would be amazing, yeah. What's the best part about the bidet experience? Um, Besides some music. T TMI. Yeah. Um, um, was that your first? It was my first, so I, I tested it out, and it was definitely surprising, but um, then I got back, and I... I guess I do miss I think, the I think the I think they're ahead of their time over there. I think mm -hmm. I think the U.S. needs to follow suit. I mean, Very gas station bathrooms were nice. Like like everything everywhere was, there was everything a bidet. Was so clean everywhere. Yeah. Very environmentally friendly too. You know, they're not wasting paper. No no, no trash anywhere. No trash. You know, just That's clean it. streets. Yeah. Well, well it was ironic because sorry to be weird about this whole bidet thing, but we were like <laughs> brainstorming topics for our podcast and like. Five days ago, I said to him, I was like, we should just interview people about their first experience with a bidet, where they <laughs> were, what happened. And then, like, we were kind of prepping for this interview, and we saw you guys, like, yeah. very in detail talking about a bidet. And I'm like, how does that happen? <laughs> it's meant to be. <laughs> I'm trying to think how we can add to this conversation. I don't know. Uh, I screamed when I first started. When I first <laughs> did it. I was like, scream. We were in our Airbnb. I was like, oh! Make sure you're sitting down before you press the button. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's for sure. Yes, yeah, water, water spray. That's good advice for people planning to test out a bidet, Definitely whether it's in Europe or first. Asia. Yeah. Has this been an uncomfortable amount of time talking about bidets, or do you want to keep going? <laughs> about it. I'm not uncomfortable in the least. Okay, good. Give I me four key words when describing the bidet experience. <laughs> um, say, um, warm. It was warm water. It was never cold. It was like the perfect temperature water. Yeah. You know, because it's like... Like a good 68? Yeah, right. I, yeah, it was I would, a... I would, use the, I would use the word accurate. Oh, so yeah, they're, they're accurate. They're very yeah. accurate. Yeah. <laughs> accurate. Focused. <laughs> Focused <laughs> stream. Be good. careful with the pressure, the water pressure, because... Oh, you could turn it up and down. Yeah, like... If it was on a high set setting, it was it's like a little a little too much. You could make sure you, you make sure you yeah. turn the setting down, and then if you want to... Build up, build Work up. your way up to a little more yeah. pressure. Do you yeah, recommend yeah. having a bidet session before your morning coffee, or should you wait till after? Uh, I think before, because you so might you might throw up after maybe okay. if you have a coffee after. It's good to know bidet tips with shade. Mm. What celebrity dead or alive do you wish was next to you in the bidet? <laughs> um, oh my god. Well, my my ultimate uh, celebrity crush is Bruce Willis. For anyone asking, he is my like the hottest man alive. Is is Bruce Willis to me? So any time that I can get Bruce Willis to stand next to me, and my husband is such a Bruce Willis, he's just look alike. He's such a like a, like oh, almost twins with Bruce Willis, but um, Bruce Willis is my favorite. Yeah, so I would be with him next in the bidet by okay. the bidet. He would be humbly honored, I'm sure, to sit next to you while you're in a bidet in Japan. What if his was like Chelsea from Shade? <laughs> <laughs> Chelsea wouldn't be here right I now. I would literally She'd die. I would, I, yeah, I wouldn't be here. I'd be whisking away to... Um, she would die on the bidet. She would just... <laughs> that'd be it. Does Lincoln Hall have a bidet? Uh, you tell me. It better. That was I on our rider, so... I haven't, seen, <laughs> I haven't seen a bidet since we've gotten back. That's a shame. I, it's it's such, a, such a shame. We'll get with our people. But you are playing Lincoln Hall tonight. Today's Wednesday, right? Yes. So, yeah, tonight. Yes. Yeah, that's nice. Right. Yeah. Are there, I think we can still get tickets, I think, if you're on the internet. Just yes, couple, there's, there's a few there's left. A, there's a couple left. Yeah. So open another browser window and then type in shade, S-H-A-E-D. It's spelled right down there in the bottom right-hand corner. And uh, get yourself some tickets for tonight. Oh, I'm sorry. It is. Oh, there we go. Yeah. 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 Award. Have fun tonight. Thank Thanks, you, guys. guys. Thank you so much for having us. Yeah, Super of course. Fun. That performance was amazing, by the way. The whistling part alone. Ah. They are so good at whistling. How? I didn't, I those didn't are all. Those are all backing tracks. I'm sorry, that wasn't actually. <laughs> That's a lie. No, that was. Uh, yeah. How do you practice whistling? Is that something you just do throughout the day? And um, I don't know. We just. Uh, we don't do a lot of prep for the whistle. I'd say sometimes you gotta drink a little water. Maybe. No chapstick, Chelsea. Oh, okay. Chelsea doesn't whistle, so she can't really talk on this, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah. But. Uh, <laughs> as they say, you just gotta wet your whistle a little bit. You know, just drink some water before you perform, and then you're good. Yeah. Can you do the two finger whistle thing too? The mom and a mall. Mm. I wish we could. We cannot. No, 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 no. I wish we, we could. can do the acorn thing. You know, where you put the acorn. No, no, no. It's not acorn. It's a blade of grass, isn't it? I think there's well, both. You can do it with both. You know what we're talking about? You take the acorn the and half you make the acorn a v. shell, and then you do the. You make a V with the acorn. Maybe that no. was just. Uh, maybe that was just. Uh, <laughs> I don't think it got all the way to the Midwest. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs>
Uh. Hey, so do you guys have new music on the way, new album on the way? When is that? Yes. yes. We are working on new music currently. Sorry, I'm like totally. <laughs> we are working on new music, um, shooting for an album early next year. Okay. All right. Yeah. Yep. And me, uh, we got a lot of features coming out with other artists that we are huge fans of, so that that's also in the works. Can you can you like give us hints? Can you rhyme it? Nope, sorry. <laughs> yeah, we can't. I'm sorry, guys. I'll it's tell you so guys. tempting, but no. We really tempting. We're really excited, though. Yeah. So early next year, are we going to get some of those features before, like in single form or something like that? Yes. 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 All right, can't wait. And are you guys performing any of them yet? No. Okay. Mm, no. No. But maybe they will tonight. You never know if you're buying the tickets. <laughs> you never know. That's a ruin. You never it. know. <laughs> <laughs> find out for yourself. Tonight could be the first night they do. Um, have fun tonight. Uh, did we cover everything? We can find you guys on the socials, S-H-A-E-D. Yes. Um, Shade Band. Right? Shade, Shade Band, Band is the social, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. Trampoline's a massive, massive, massive thing. Dude, thanks to you guys and yeah, all the radio you. support. Yeah. yeah. Well, We're we did cry. get you. We did get you one of these. Yeah, that's great. So there you go. We'll get you another one for trampoline. Um, thank you guys for coming by. Have fun tonight. Uh, thank you. Thank, thank you, guys. you guys. Shade at the Blue Cross Blue Shield Performance Stage, B96 Studios, Spanky's Corner Podcast. We're on Facebook and YouTube and You're Stitcher or something. I don't know. We're on You're somewhere. You're doing great. All right, thanks. Spotify now, too. <laughs>